video, we will demonstrate the new option that allows you and your audience to download a tour directly from the website, from your mobile phone or into your Oculus Go, Quest or Gear VR. Your audience will be able to download the tour and view it offline, no matter which hosting service you use. All you need to do is upload the tour just like you always do and tick the new box in the publish window. This will then show your users a download button when they open the tour so that they can download the tour and watch it offline on their computer, mobile or even Oculus glasses. Alright, so let's take this tour here for example, which we assume you just finished putting together. You would click publish down here, which opens up the publish window where we select the output format we want. Now, the new option, which will allow your users to download the tours, you'll find both for when you upload the tour using 3D Vista hosting, that would be this box down here, and then you simply click publish, and also for when you publish for external hosting services, so when you use your own server, which would be the same. Click down here, and then publish. Let's publish for 3D Vista hosting for now and I make sure to tick publish for Oculus Go as well so I can show you the offline app for Oculus Go and Quest in this tutorial. And once the tour is published and uploaded, we're done. Right, now that's everything on the author side. Now let's have a look at how you or your audience would actually download the tour. Let me first show you what it would look like on the Oculus Go or Quest headset. Open the tour in the browser. And here, as always, it's important that in the URL you use HTTPS rather than just HTTP because, as you may know already, the new browsers require this for the gyroscope to work. You'll be prompted a download button on the top immediately after loading the tour, but this is not what you should click first. Instead, it is very, very important that you first bookmark the page or else the download won't be successful. So we create a bookmark, which also saves us the work of typing in the URL every time. Instead, we can then simply select the tour from the list here on the right. Once we created the bookmark, we can click on Download. And in the subsequent window on the bottom, give permission to Chrome for accessing the Oculus's permanent storage, which is bigger than the default temporary storage. It's important you give this permission because the temporary storage is very, very small and won't be enough to download your tour onto. So we click Permit, and after that the tour will start to download. Now that the tour is downloaded, let's see how we would access it without an internet connection. Therefore, let's go down here to settings and turn off the Wi-Fi by moving this switch that currently says on to off. Now we are without internet connection. Back in the browser, let me go to my bookmarks and select the tour in the list or simply refresh it. And as you can see, the tour works just like before where we did have an internet connection. And we can navigate in the downloaded offline tour both in the browser mode where we use the controller to look around and in the VR mode where we would look around by physically moving our head. Next up, let's have a look at what it would look like on a desktop Windows computer. For this, you will need to use Chrome, for now that's the only browser supporting this new app format. Copy the URL of your tour and open it in your Chrome browser. Once the tour is loaded, you will see a pop-up on the top with a download button. Click it. You'll then be prompted a pop-up asking whether you want to install the app. Click Install and the download process will start. In some cases, if you don't have enough storage space, the system will prompt a second window asking for permission to use the permanent storage space as opposed to only the temporary storage. In that case, you need to click Yes. Not everyone will be shown this pop-up because it is related to your storage space and other factors, but if you are, simply click Yes to give Chrome permission to store files on the bigger permanent storage. And that's it. Once the download is complete, you can find your tour as an app icon on your desktop. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi to see if it really works offline. 
and we double click on the app icon which will start the tour in full screen. And as you can see everything works, we can look around, the actual panoramas load super fast and we can use the tour just like we would online. Now on mobile, the procedure is similar. Before anything else, it is important to know that this will only work on Android phones. Apple and their iPhones, as usual, won't allow installing anything that circumvents their App Store, so this new app format is not compatible with iPhones, I'm afraid. Copy the URL and open it in your Chrome browser. Once the tour is loaded, you will see a pop-up on the bottom right here, asking you to add the tour app to your phone's home screen. This is absolutely necessary in order to be able to open the tour app once it is downloaded, so don't click the X to close, but tap on the actual message to create your app icon or bookmark. Confirm your choice in the subsequent window and click Add to add the tour's app icon to your home screen. After that, you'll be shown another window asking for permission to access your phone's permanent storage. You should accept in order to have unlimited download space, Otherwise, your space will be very, very limited and might not even be enough for one virtual tour. So again, click Allow. This will then start the actual download process. Once the tour is downloaded, you can close the browser. And for demonstrating how it works offline, let me set my phone to flight mode. And click on the newly created app icon to start the tour. As you can see, the tour plays in full screen and I can look and move around as usual. Lastly, let me show you how to uninstall the app. Proper uninstalling is necessary, of course, to free up space, but also to be able to download the same tour app in the future again. If you uninstall it incorrectly and access the tour online, it won't show you the download message and button again. So this is how you should uninstall your app. Open the tour app and click on the three dots on the top right. Click on Uninstall and in the window tick Also Clear Data from Chrome. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get an app for your virtual tour. No need to code, no need for approval by the app stores, just a no-fuss way to play your tours offline. Thanks for watching.